why aren't you working? I don't know why it's not working. I was just tested it just before I started here. And it stopped working. Uh, sorry about being late. I was running super late as is, and then on top of that I had to work deal with the damn updates. Kubo, why are you? Oh, you know what? I bet you anything. Yeah, that's right. It's there. Right there. This side for now. I bet you anything when I'm when I move things around. Sometimes it it I, it somehow shuffles the other stuff. It must have shuffled down without me knowing it. Okay, let's try the left side. Hopefully it'll be okay. Okay, again, sorry, I am super late. But uh, let's get started. I noticed in the menu it said stats here, so I might as well bring that up here while. I over in here but uh yeah we ended off in the that big ass boat that's in the middle of the bayou we finished doing the the little vcr mini game where you had to work with explosives and all that other shit hang on i gotta okay camera camera rubs off I don't know where I'm going. I guess there. Oh, I forgot how to play, man. Yeah, <laughs> well, you not accept it. Well, I would have been a little bit sooner if I didn't have to drive someone. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm not that dude anymore. Uh, I'm the... Uh, the wife now. It turns out she has, has a little, uh, there's some backstory to that. Oh shit, I'm gonna go there. The contents have been taken. Okay, it's all beaten up. Something must first be some set. It, you would think it, it would be cool because you know I'm I'm driving them around, but he's not cool. Think of like the uncoolest person that you know and knock ten points down, and you got that person. Okay, looks like I need uh, something there first. I can go up. Let's uh, let's go up first. <laughs> go down <laughs> better not have got hurt from that okay I'm just in this little room why couldn't I get in this room before I can't remember how long it's been it felt like a long time since I loaded this up I do have to be careful because I don't have any weapons, but there are enemies here. Gunpowder. If I'm getting gunpowder. This game is pretty good though, Small. I, I would recommend you play it. Where am I? Oh, I was here two seconds ago. Getting scared for nothing. Yeah, let's go back. 
this way. How come this thing is closed? Oh no, I'm on the. I'm on a different floor. Never mind. <clears throat> there is a part on here. Is that a normal bomb I could take? Or is it going to blow up on me? Yeah, okay, I could take it. There is a part on, on here that that really has me thinking if it's even possible to beat this game without dying blind. As it's... It's... It felt pretty cheap when I got to it. And I was like, what? There's no way. You, you, would have, you would have to know that he was going to do that before. But I, it's, it, it, it's, hang on. it's, uh, there's a part in here that's kind of like, uh, like, um, ooh, shit map. Kind of like one of those escape houses that we went to, or those escape rooms. We gotta do like a bunch of stuff and put things together and solve like a, like, like a physical puzzle, so to speak. But part of the puzzle is you have to take out, or maybe, maybe I, I won't say it. Ooh, lug wrench. Yeah, I won't say maybe you want to play it at some point. Oh, fuck, I want that. I want you. Why is that a door when there's a room here? Behind the fan. What fan? Oh, pff. Andrews, that stupid thing, man. I hated that. Like, no way. Like, as, as, as a puzzle mechanic, I think it's pretty cool. But it, it didn't, it didn't add up with the whole theme. It said, bug me about it. got to bring that up as if there's a damn thing on there it's like because technically it was supposed to be back in the olden days and that fan shouldn't exist in those old days so why would there be a puzzle piece there <laughs> there shouldn't have been a puzzle piece there maybe it still works Okay, so Ethan. Oh, he's on S two. I hope I make it in time. Okay. Bottom level. Huh? Oh fuck, there's gonna be shit here now. Hang on, I'm just gonna turn up the the volume. I turned up the volume let me know if that's fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that made me jump. <laughs> Fucking hallucinations. Where is she? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> what was I saying? <laughs> Damn it, I forgot. Okay, open up that. I could get downstairs now, but I need to get that gun. I need to find the captain's cabin locker key. Where would that even be? Would it be in security? Yeah, I turned up the the volume. Let me know if you, if it if it loops into the mic. Okay, I can't go this way. Can I even go this way? Won't I get hurt? I'm gonna get hurt if I jump down there though. I need to go back up there.
That's dumb. Use a remote bomb to kill, get rid of that thing. I got 11 of those, and I think there's like 20. Come on. Maybe I just gotta press the button. Press it. Press it. I'm gonna get hurt if I jump down there. Do I go? Yeah, you have to shoot it or knife it. But uh, when I got to this place, I she didn't come with anything. So I've had like no weapons. The, 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 the remote bombs is just kind of what, what I just finished picking up just recently. And so far I haven't found too much of a... Uh, of a relation to the to the other Resident Evils, they haven't mentioned much about it. Hmm. Well, I don't see anything here. I guess I could try. I guess I have no choice but to try fall. Get hurt from every little thing in this game, though. That's gonna kill me. Oh no, it didn't. I thought for sure it would kill me. Okay, well, still have a little bit of control here. I gotta go to the, gotta go to the shower room. No, I actually didn't take damage. That was good. I thought for sure I'd take damage. And the other guy would keep take damage over every stupid little thing. Need some kind of key. Or something that melts the... One thing that bugs me about this game is the how fast they run. They run so goddamn slow. Especially when the guy's like chasing behind you. He's just like prancing away. So let's go up. <laughs> let's go check out the bunk room and I'll well, maybe the keys in the lounge. Ooh, survival knife. Come here a minute. I cut you up so good. I'm gonna wish I never cut you up so good. No thanks. Of Ooh, we could go up the stairs now. Special Operations Division. Director Alan Droney and caretaker Mia Winters. Recent reports suggest that if Evelyn remains at her current location, she's at a high risk of being stolen by opposing organizations. 
Your orders, therefore, are to transfer Eveline to our Central American branch for safekeeping until further notice. During transfer, be sure to adhere to the following protocols. Act as parental guardians for Eveline at all times to avoid sus suspicion. Manage Eveline's vitals via the genome codex provided. If the mission is compromised beyond reconciliation, dispose of Eveline. Tube shreds, you say? Oh, where the fuck did he go? Fuck. I was kind of expecting him to be there because the game wants you to go the other way. Where did he go? Climb up there now. She used to be able to climb up there. <clears throat> okay, let's go in here first. Okay, what do I have? Three bombs and a knife. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh. He died much faster than I was expecting. Ooh, the bobblehead, you're right. He's in that um, upstairs. I have to go back up there for the machine gun anyway, so... I'll go do that when I grab the key. See, this thing kind of looks like the Ouroboros. But they don't make any reference to it. Uh, at least not yet. Like, it, it looks like the Ouroboros. Like, you know, the whole black inky looking stuff. But it does behave behave a little bit different so it might be like a different kind of strain or or I don't even know what exactly it, it, it doesn't seem like it's parasites those black creatures they seem like they're being made by that little psychic girl so I'm not a hundred percent sure what's what's going on there but I guess we'll find out a little bit more <laughs> is it herb growing in that couch Get a little bit more health just in case. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, maybe I gotta make them all straight. Okay, red is down, purple is in that corner. That was easy. Ooh, corrosive. I'm gonna need that to open up those locks. I think I could get the submachine gun now. Or no, I needed the captain's locker key, not the corrosive. Well, let's go check out the bunk room there. See, this is how fast they run. I'm running. I don't know why that scared me. <clears throat> I'm trying to be really cheap with my stuff and just walk around. <laughs> that was way too easy. There was a harder puzzle in this game a little bit before that, so this game is. But some of the puzzles, that one was a pushover, but some of them were more, were more difficult. To be honest, I'm pretty sure closing the door makes a big difference. 
You can you go through the door and you, and you get through there and just close it? I'm pretty sure it makes a difference. Ooh. And one thing I noticed too with this game is sometimes it's more beneficial to like duck and look underneath things because the items don't uh, don't like flash. They flash a little bit, but if you're not careful, you can miss them. Okay, bunk room. I need to get in that room there without. Fuck! 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 I don't know why I'm so jumpy right now. Shit. Oh shit! Is he hiding behind the door? 16 years since Nightmare of Raccoon. Ooh. 19 of Raccoon City. The survivors are still suffering. Oh, it's cool that they mention it. That's the first reference. Yeah, see, this is dumb. See, like, I had to use a corrosive to get to that door here because this stuff was just laying here. Like, as if she couldn't take the time to push it out of the way. Let's go this way. Let's, um... Okay, we got the cabin key, so let's go get the... Machine gun. The machine gun's not that strong. I was using it in the uh, flashback. It took like almost. It takes like half a clip to get rid of one of those guys. Disappeared fast. <laughs> I just looked left and then looked to the right and it was gone. Okay, let's go to the key. Captain's log. Start date. Uh, uh, April 14th. Let's rock. Oh, look at my oh no, that was uh, the chem fluid. That's what you use to make everything in this game. flashback okay so we got that oh the um the bubble head you thought I forgot about you didn't you think again Ooh. okay I think I'm good here I do gotta go down a floor and get to the shaft. Just 
like I also need to go to the recreation room, it looks like it. But uh, I guess that's cool. I guess I gotta go to that shaft area. Shit, that, that barely took any bullets at all. When, we, when I was doing the flashback, she had like a gun and everything like that. And it, I had to make sure, I'll, I had to make every count, shot, every shot count. come back it's gonna chase me or something Fight him. then let's do that let that go guess that's why they give you two chem fluids here I know that those are empty, but I'm gonna open up them anyways. Oh, that's what I need. How did you not fucking do it? Oh, run, you son of a bitch! Run in there and stab him. It's a good thing I wasn't a little bit closer. Damn. More corrosive.
This kind of has me a little bit worried. Oh no, okay. <laughs> so maybe, maybe I take the blue one first and over in the yellow one and get electrocuted. Oh, I didn't come from there. I thought for sure you'd come from in there. Stuff on this. As if he can't use it. Come on. Oh, it has to be a lockpick. So dumb. It's pl made of plastic too, because if he can't just break the plastic. Unless. Usually the doors auto close. That's weird that they're still open. Let's go look here. be that uh, the lockpick. There it is. Oh, this guy have to shoot. Oh, I gotta shoot him in, in the back. Go, 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 go. See how slow I run? I'm running for my life. Old Veronica taught me not to fight everything. Try to run away when you can. Okay, I need to go all the way down now. Looks like it's gonna be a fight to get down there though. play <laughs> fuck you oh I see you son of a bitch let's see if I can get around without getting to him psycho stimulants <clears throat> what can I do here oh 
Oh shit, what do we need the power cable for? I needed it for something, didn't I? Ah, oh, damn it, I think I, did I miss something? It was on the bridge, wasn't it? Was it the bridge? <clears throat> it's too late for us, but at least I can let the world know what happened here. I was on night shift yesterday, so I was taking a nap in the bunk room around noon. I was half asleep and I heard a kid, a little girl, laughing. Or was that all in my head? I woke up in 1930. Who says that? There was uh, <laughs> there was some sort of ruckus in the passageway. It drew one of the engineers came in and said there was something going on down below. Maybe you're right. He looked pale in the face. He told me he was going to check it out, but he never came back. It must have been around 1950 when I heard the scream. I went to the laundry room to check and saw Clark being eaten by some sort of blackish monster. The monster turned and started coming towards me, huge shark-like teeth snapping in its jaw. I just screamed like a little girl and ran for it. I wonder if he made it. Let's see. Now I'm huddling in a bunk room, shaking as I write this. There's a whole host of those creatures lurking in the passageways now. I can still hear screams now and then, but there's no way I'm going out there now. And that's it. I've written everything I know. Team Rocket Giovanni Finetti. If you can find that guy dead somewhere. Well, a life jacket that doesn't have anything on it. It's not even a late corpse there. <coughs> Dear Janet, hey, how's it going? I guess half a year or so has passed by the time you get this letter. Life is so boring here. Day after day, just the same old sea. Although there is one thing that is different. This time we have some passengers sailing with us, which is hardly ever happens. It's a couple with a little girl. I think they're distant relatives of the captain. I imagine traveling on a tanker instead of a passenger ship. They must be hard up. I tried talking to the little girl earlier, and her dad shot me this nasty look. What's he so worried about? Not that I, now that I think about it, the captain said he didn't even have any relatives. Maybe I'm overthinking this. I miss you. Love, Jim. Jim Bob. Amazon River Cruiser Guide. Ooh, let's look outside. Cool. Oh shit. How the fuck did he not see me? Ooh, another backpack. That makes three more backpacks. One in the front, one in the back, and one in the buttocks area. Just in time, too. I was running low on inventory slots. Lots of remote bombs. That is good. Okay, let's see. Where am I going? I would like to get to that maintenance room, but I don't know if I could get in there. I do have to keep going down. Don't know how to get there, though. Oh, it looks like I gotta take the uh, elevator, anyways. But uh, let's, get, let's get to the maintenance room. Go check out the other place first. Yeah, 
this is where I was at first. I didn't kill those guys, I didn't even have any weapons. in the storm. Ooh, that's right. I probably should get those those stimulants back in that back in that bunk room. Ooh, blew his head right off. I thought somebody was right behind me. Oh, I need that if I want to go down. You know what? Let's go check out that office. I'm pretty sure I was here already, but I just want to take a look at it again now that I have all my shit. Might be a bobblehead or something. But I, I'm pretty sure I need to grab that fuse to get the elevator to work. Oh, that's it. Thought there'd be more. No, it just takes me to there. Some of it taking the fuse closes that door. Let's go check out the maintenance room. Oh no, is that, is that Jim? Jim. Just help myself to your, uh, your ring. I could have got a handgun by now. I, I totally missed the handgun. Here, I thought I had to be fucking stealthy and get all around these guys. That's probably why they're weaker too, so you could take them out with the handgun. Damn. <laughs> so I wonder why they're giving me gunpowder and giving me gunpowder and I can't even use a ha the handgun bows to make it. grab that psycho stimulant since I'm here anyways. Lewis, the cable's completely fried. We had a replacement, but we have to use it to fix something at the 3F sick bay. You're gonna have to go ask Dr. Waddle for it. I'm needed down on number two engine room, but I can't get there unless we get this thing working, Dwayne. So where the hell did you go, Dwayne? grabbed everything so far. Just need to go downstairs. He's waiting. Oh man. Punch your face so good. Damn. Music. I hate when music plays. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, fuck, don't fail me now. Oh, fuck, I thought you were dead. 
No, he was dead. He was just taking his time dying. Okay, I gotta switch my uh, controller. Actually, I should, I should pause. <laughs> Be right back. I got it. Okay, music restarts. Let's do this again. See you, but I just see you like hit me. Kind of want to try to save the machine gun in case I need it for boss. They are giving me a lot of handgun and bullets. Something's gonna go down soon. more herbs. Ah, there we go. I'm doing, I'm in really good shape right now, though. Shitload of bombs, shitload of ammo. They're giving me lots of that. I think I know he blows up by now. Is that Dwayne? Who the fuck's... Oh, the little girl crying. You know what? Let's fucking heal up. In case. You son of a bitch. Let's go to Cargo Bay. Cargo Bay 2. Gabe's gonna throw two of those big guys at me at once. Oh, fuck you. Come here, little girl. I'm gonna give you a spanking.
I'm pretty sure Ethan's not who he's Ethan. who who he looks to be. Ooh, I was ready for that one. Usually that scares me, but I was ready for it. Hey, shh, hey, shh. I know, I know, I know. I'm not gonna hurt you. Hell, I never would have if I could have helped you. What do you mean? I'm no killer, son. Neither is Marguerite. No my boy Lucas. Thanks for the host girl. Zoe here. That girl Evelyn. She did this. What the hell is she? No, what did she do to you? She infected us with her gift. That's what she calls it. I found her. They had busted out a tank in the bayou. Everything changed after that. So she infects you and then she takes control? No. Not exactly, son. Hmm. Clocks are different. When I was in there, they were all 10, 15. She forces a way into your mind, your soul. You can't fight back. You are connected to her, and you can't resist the urge to. Oh, you're a, you're a different person after that, just like Mia. So Mia sent me that message because of Evelyn. Listen, the, the girl just wants a family of her own. She's the key. All right, you find her. Stop her. I don't see this in the storyline. Him being normal? Free my family. I could just went in there and just murdered all of them. Please. Shit either. Man, all that saving for nothing. Okay, you little bitch. What the fuck are you? See if that was me, I'd grab that hard hat. Boost my defense a little bit. I can't talk. Why did the game give me all those remote bombs then? I was expecting a boss fight. <laughs> I know, she's hoarding. She's like, here, take this. Fucking gives me this useless ass tissue sample. She gave me that gun too. She has two hands. Where are you, little bitch? So he starts going in the opposite direction of the ship. <laughs> oh shit, what's that? Oh, dead fish. I 
Isn't I... Where is this? I gotta take down Eveline, but I don't have anything to take her down with. Maybe I gotta grab his fish guts. It seems like she she kind of has like psychic abilities and kind of knows where I'm I'm at anyways. So uh, I don't I don't know what this guy's planning. Abercrombie Salt Mine, South Dovey. Looks like a helicopter. Are they watching us from that helicopter? Who's watching? Alpha One, this is Bravo One. Do you read? This is Alpha One. Report. Did you find anything? A thorough search of the Baker property revealed zero survivors. Repeat, zero survivors. We did find evidence of a skirmish. Evelyn? Negative. Negative. However, we did find several encrypted messages from the baker's son, Lucas, to an unknown third party. You can probably guess who that was. That's just great. Mm -hmm. We've had reports in the abandoned mine south of the property. I'm gonna go have a look. <laughs> Roger that. We'll meet you at those coordinates. If you encounter Evelyn, orders <clears throat> shoot to kill. Repeat. Shoot to kill. Why don't you just leave it up to them? They'll, they'll beat the game for me. Oh, maybe all the stuff's in here. You've taken me as things. Sweet. Okay. Not too bad. I'll take a knife. Oh, I still have my stuff too. coins to get the magnum now i don't know if it'll let me go back there but i have enough now take some more bombs just in case we're into a boss or something um and grenade launcher in case we're into a boss that should be good enough Oh, shotgun. Actually, I need that. Where's my shoddy? They are here. I didn't even notice them. Ooh, the Magnum. Let's get that guy. I have nine. It takes nine coins to get. And for some reason, the game makes me put one in each and every time. I'm glad the game gave me all her shit. So I've been like, what the fuck's the point in collecting that if I can't get it? Ooh. Hit him 
must be my birthday. Well, I'm decked out. save so I don't got to do that shit over again. Hmm. Apparently there's a lab. There's always a lab. That shouldn't be a surprise. Save some shots. <laughs> yeah, were you watching it from the beginning where it got where it got uh, cut right off, clean right off? Yeah, when you when you first go go inside the house and you run into me, yeah, she she kind of goes crazy and she just fucking chainsaws your hand right off. Oh shit, the hell's that? It's just the just the wind. And then you uh, kind of progress a little bit and you get knocked out. Then when you come to, your hands like stapled on and it's working. They don't really explain it. I don't know if it's like he's supposed to be like infected and then it just got fixed because he's infected, but I don't know. Nothing seems to be happening to him, so I'm not so I'm not 100% not sure. Okay, burner fuel. I don't need to carry the both the magnum and the grenade launcher around. There's a chance if they're gonna put a big enough boss in the way, they're gonna have a box there, right? inside those things earlier but I'm too cheap to use the M 
some ammo to check it. So I just use a knife. How are you still fucking alive? You took that explosion. Holy shit, I wasn't expecting that much bullets. I would have just used the damn shotgun. I thought he'd be weakened because he took that blast. Burner fluid. Guess I'm gonna need that. But uh, the burner, the burner doesn't work on. Uh, those black dudes. They only work on like the the insect dudes. Can I still go back up? Oh no, I'm stuck. Okay. These ones so damn strong. Okay, looks like I gotta use this to smash that open to get over there. But let's go check out that other place first. Damn, I used up way too much resources on those two little guys. I was not expecting that. Save this shoddy for a little while because I'm running low. I'll use the bombs. Ooh, Magnum ammo. uses WD-40 to open up his WD-40 cap. And it's safe to assume that that brother is here if I'm having to deal with those little traps.
there's a brother in the family that I haven't that I haven't killed yet. And he was using those a lot earlier. Secrets. No secrets. Heal me. And I'm down to one heals. Uh, let's combine. There we go. Sent Friday, January 16th, 2015, 12.42 a.m. Thanks to you guys, it's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal, and she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one, too. Mom and Dad are still totally under, though. I was wondering if this whole family obsession is something you guys programmed into her. It's all, it's all kind of fucked up. Sent Friday, November 4th, so that's, uh... Holy shit, almost a whole year. That bitch Mia is still somewhere in between Eva La La Land and reality. She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. I thought maybe Ev Evelyn would get mad since Mia's her favorite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits her sometimes. She thinks Mia's her mommy. Like I said, bioweapon is fucked up. Okay, September 1st, almost a full year after that. Ev Evelyn's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the street to add to her freak show of a family. Maybe she's getting tired of me and not coming around, but it's a pain in the ass for me because i got to clean up the mess whenever someone new comes along. By the way, Evie's looking sick or something. Her skin is getting all wrinkly and she's getting gray hairs. Is that supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. Ooh. So this is where she was hanging out. Maybe maybe it was the brother. I'm kind of assuming that was uh, what's her name. But she was infected already, so maybe she got reinfected. No, if that's the case, then she would have known how to to get unaffected. She wouldn't she wouldn't have to be guessing, right? Ooh, steroids is hiding there. Can't sleep. I'm gonna kill me. Ugh, that's this stuff. I always take a look there because I usually, usually find stuff hidden at the bottom. Infection report. I could barely read that. This report... I don't think I'm meant to read it. <laughs> it's just a picture of a little girl with something in her lungs. Who the hell was the scientist in the family? Ten minutes after dose. Death. E necrotoxin E series dosage test. Five minutes after dose, vomiting. Twelve minutes after dose, cell calcification. Okay, so she goes from dosage test, five minutes to vomiting. At 12 minutes to set that black stuff. Ooh, what's in here? Is she in here? E necrotoxin. Destroy cells of any subject based on the E series bioweapon model. Use only disposal of E series assets. The toxin must first be stimulated before use. Do not do this by placing a sample of the E-series cells into a necrotoxin container. The 
back. Okay. So what happens if I use that on myself? more journals I can't read. Oh, never mind. This project was instigated in 2000 as one of the several concepts for a company's next, bis next generation experimental battlefield superiority initiative. Working to get working with technical systems from HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants en masse with a minimal direct contact. Next Bass was later folded and its all assets diverted to this project. What makes this project markedly different from conventional weapons is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile elements into willing servants. Since this effectively eliminates the cost of not only POW handling, but also combat itself, it's no wonder we had the blank and even blanks blank organizations chomping at the bit to get on board. This project never would have existed if were it not for the discovery in blank of blank, the remarkable progress to Vicariant evolution fungus that we commonly term the mutum. I don't know how to pronounce that. Mutum mutomycete. Mutum mutomycete. That's the best I could do. The fabrication method for each bioweapon was to int introduce the mutomycete genome to the pre stage 4 human embryo and perform cultivation in a controlled environment over a period of 38 to 40 weeks. The resultant organisms were referred to as candidate specimens, graded based on usability from the impractical and faulty series A through D to the perfected E series. A common appearance was selected for the bioweapons, that of a roughly 10-year-old girl to ensure ease of blending in with urban slash refugee populations. The first E series specimen named Eveline was proven capable of secreting the, the mutomycite blank from her tissue at will. It is also of note that Evelyn's mutomycite imposes a profound control over body and mind when introducing into a host organism. We still have a lot to learn about the mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control, but the working theory is that the vector is similar to the auto-inducer pheromones used for quorum sensing and pseudo pseudomonums bacteria. Evelyn's control is ex exerted in a series of discrete stages. The first is which has hallucination. Almost immediately after infection, the subject begins to see Im images of Eveline, though she is not, in fact, there, and even hear her voice, which is inaudible to anyone else. Aud auditions with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection reveal that at first the phantom Eveline appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. The psychological shock induces helps to break down the mind's nat natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect, and by the time the mental control is achieved, the, the mutomycite infection has progressed through the body cells, so the body... blank. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. more. It's only, this one's only four pages. Evelyn's function also include the ability to form organisms from mycelia, the fungal filaments. The term organisms is used loosely here. Strictly speaking, they are sub superior organisms formed of countless mycelia. What's important, though, that is they exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves ferociously with the slightest provocation. Their fungal toughness and remarkable strength give them significant battlefield potential. The research I've been calling these superior organisms the molded, made of mold, and also molded as in shaped. Time has a certain elegance to it, or the name has a certain elegance to it. For the treatment of accidental infections, per performing blank on samples of Eveline's body tissues produces a unique fungal serum. Administrating the serum to the infected subject will cause the mycelia to calcify, but if the subject's cells are already largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore disposal of infected subjects rather than a cure. In exploring this serum's potential, we found that subjugating it to blink... Ah, oh, thanks for the follow, Vampire1997. Appreciate that. Okay. Uh, exploring the serum's potential, we found that subjugating it to blink would enhance its effects, extreme potency becoming a compound we now call E-necrotoxin, which blink in even tiny amounts. What's been interesting to observe in Eveline's behavior is her obsession. Shit, I hate when it does that. Those background noises. 
in Evelyn's behavior is, is her obsession with concept of family. In experiments we found on multiple occasions, the infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she was really their daughter. Why do they sell upon the family as the theme of their mental control? This is just speculation, but it could be that she was instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited to blending into social groups than a lone girl. Hopefully my thing is not messed up. Okay. On the other hand, while a sentimental sort might suggest that she's making up for a perceived lack of love in her quantified upbringing, a parent's love. Can I unfall and fall again? I think it works. I'm not too sure. A parent's love. Hey, dog side, what's going on? Oh, there's a save point. And the box is here. Shit is gonna go down. Flame rounds, yeah, shit's gonna go down. Let's, uh, let's ready up. Okay, we'll keep the flame rounds there, keep that there. We got the Magnum. We just finished getting the Magnum. So far, this game is really good. I like it. You can play this game on the VR, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it if you are prone to motion sickness, because... Uh, I tried it on the VR and it kind of kind of messed me up a little bit. Oh shit! Let's go. Oh shit! If boss, I should be bringing in more more heals. I have some heals sitting on standby here somewhere, like you and you. I've been I've been fairly cheap with my with my stuff coming in this game. Thanks to Resident Evil Code Veronica. Better than six. It's different than, than six. Like it, it, you, you know how you could lump the first ones together as, as kinda like their own group? You could lump four, five, and six together as their own their own their own um, I don't know, classification. This one's different from, 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 from those two, from the first ones and then the than the other ones like it's not so it's not so action heavy <laughs> it's 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 giving me a jump here and there have it I usually don't get scared that that easily but it, it got me it got me a couple times and uh, it does an excellent job for the uh, for the environment sounds too. <laughs> On cue, the little girl singing. Little does she know that I brought a magnum. I don't know. I don't know entirely. Like I, think, I'm guessing you're like asking if it's like umbrella or or something, right? So far, there's been very little references to uh, to the older series, but it, I did a little while ago run into a, an article about Resident about Raccoon City. So so far, pretty it's it's set in the same universe, but it's uh, something's different about this one. So this one, still trying to figure that out too. I was actually gonna next year. I was gonna dress Kaylee up as the as that. Uh, which one is it? Is it the the Grudge, the Grudge Girl, or is it the Ring, the Ring Girl? You know, with the with her hair in the in the front because she has long dark hair. I was, was gonna dress her up as that next year. Okay, shoddy shells, hands to handgun. And she'd probably love it too, cause she she likes scary things. She, 
she probably just loved freaking people out. <laughs> Wesker. Have you played uh, Resident Evil Revelations 2? Go, 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 run, 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 run. I'm trying to be cheap with my stuff. Grab that. <laughs> Try to save all my shit. Scared the no even dirt. It's one go. Yep, that's why I put mature audiences only. Killed me. Oh, that's what I get for trying to be cheap. I was trying to use my shit, but he had me cornered. Damn it. No rounds. I haven't made no rounds before. this again. Just in case. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I thought two of them. Except that one's fucking way bigger than the other one. I want to save all my magnum for the last guy.
This time I know not to go next to them because they explode. I kept going next to them, trying to knife them out. Like as if those didn't do anything. See, I shouldn't have died back there. I have so much health. Sometimes I just try to be so cheap with my stuff. about other Resident Evil games. When you said not really though, is that the were you saying was that in reference to Resident Evil Revelations? Or have you played it? Oh, I gotta go in here. It's normal. Uh, the highest difficulty on a first playthrough is normal. Should let you uh there's stats in the game. Normal, I'm almost playing nine hours. That's taking the time and looking around. Uh, 12, I guess restarts would be 12 deaths. I died like, I kept dying on the stupid boss fights uh, when you're fighting the, the, the dad. Let's do a quick save. <laughs> the highest difficulty. It is. Uh, me and, and Smothered play that game on the highest difficulty co op, and it was super hard. We ended up learning that the strongest weapon in the game at, at the beginning, like if you don't have any upgraded characters or anything like that, is uh, the crowbar. What's her name? Uh, Moira's crowbar. So our, eventually we, we learned, uh, we started adjusting all our strategies around knocking them down and, and using that crowbar because that was, that was the only way we could deal some real damage. But, uh, we're back at the house, and there's that grandma's wheelchair, but no grandma. Oh, that's right. Remember she was saying something about, uh, she's like, oh, there's supposed to be a door here. Sure is it. Jeez. It's not here. Okay, so we're back here. I think we still have all the keys and everything. But this time we have our weapons. Oh man. Over here. E001. Oh, okay, that makes sense. So she must have been like the first test subject. That's why she's all messed up right now. That can't be... That can't be Eveline, could it? Because we're saying she was starting to look older. That can't be her, could it? That old lady? have only one bomb. Call 911. I'm about to murder some little girl slash old lady. Well, this is what happened at the beginning of the game. It's kind of like little flashbacks. Oh, you want some of this? Did 
She has no shadow, so I'm assuming that's a hallucination. That's what I'm thinking. Just have to make sure. Because you're infected, son. I should probably bust out the shoddy. Why am I seeing this? He just finished reading about it. Okay, there should be some magnum bullets somewhere. There's a picture that showed you shit. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I remember seeing any pictures of, of the granny with the family. Ethan, it's okay. It's okay, it's me. Don't do it. I know you didn't mean to hurt me. Kill him, mommy. <laughs> but you shouldn't have done that! to get to me, man. Because it's pushing me around. And I have blood on me. That was hurting me. That wasn't... What the hell? Okay, I gotta find that old granny. Where the hell are you? You old big. <laughs> I hate those dolls. Supposed to be shooting her or what? I don't want to waste the bullets, but I, I did get hurt earlier. Seppo bag. Oh, she's floating. That's hurting me. As soon as he's looking at Oh no, I shouldn't have looked at Chad. I was supposed to guard there, I guess. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Damn it. Maybe I gotta shoot her. Evelyn, watch you get her near you. Yeah. 
<laughs> Shit. Her down the stairs. Butcher, butcher. what I can't even reload I just wanted I can't block me it definitely is man oh is that a rocket launcher oh crap heal yourself though Nice, it's called the Albert. Play time for Yeah. <sighs> 
Man, I'd, still, I'd, I'd be trying to back away. Yeah. I wouldn't just be laying there letting that shit fall on me. It has to be a rocket launcher. It's gonna kill you. I'm Redfield. I'm glad we found you. Is that supposed to be Chris? The fuck took you guys so long? His arms are so small. And he hands him a weapon called the Albert. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You made it. I'm glad. Did I? Did I? He's, he's supposed to be jacked. Beyond regular means. There's a limit of how see, jacked you get. You Chris is about five points opens. above that. A door closed tonight. Who tells Ethan it? And what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the bakers. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. But now Evelyn's dead. And these guys are here to clean up the mess. I had just come to terms with losing Mia. And now she's back and wants to start over. Put all this behind us. I missed the logo on that helicopter, but was it? Maybe this is where the next one. Umbrella is. Corporation. What? What? I thought it said umbrella, so I'm gonna check the the stream like it said umbrella. Why? Why is Chris there? So she was already pretty old, like during those 10 years, was it, I think it was 10 years, she was already like in a wheelchair, couldn't really move and stuff like that. So is it reasonable to think that she kind of would have just died of old age if just waited a couple more years? And wouldn't have to go through all this if, if this guy didn't go there? It's my first time. There was a choice about, I'd say about like 60 to 70% weight in. We have to choose who we want to, want to live. I kind of want to see what happens to you the other way. So when I got to that part, I, I all I did was flip a coin.
mm, the area that I was at was was was, was part of the beginning area. <laughs> you know what? I just realized I did not use my magnum. I didn't even fire a damn shot because I saving it. I didn't even get to use it. <laughs> I do want to see what happens when you do the other choice. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to bump this down to to my secondary game that I stream. Because uh, I do want to get started on a RPG that uh, one of the my one uh, one of my subscribers wants me to play, so maybe I'll bump that up to uh, as a primary, and then bring this down to secondary, and then work on getting the uh, other stuff. It'd be much faster too, because I won't be taking my sweet ass time through everything, and I'll know that I don't need to hoard as much as I did. I don't know if you noticed when I was going through my inventory how much shit I had in there. In that box, I had a whole shitload of stuff because I was expecting bigger fights to just drain me completely, like like Resident Evil Code Veronica. That game you had to hoard. He's hoard everything. I, I hoarded so much that you, I had like, uh, you never know when you need it. Yeah, well, that's the thing in Code Veronica, when you save it, you, you ran into situations where you used it later. This one, I didn't even use it. I still had like three full, at least three full med kits. I was, I was using the uh, small ones there. I had all my magnum, I didn't even use it. I still had some rounds saved up in the in the, the box, some I think more flame rounds, as well as some extra extra stuff to make more flame rounds. Then I also had a shitload of other things, but I, I didn't I did miss some a few things. I didn't get um, the repair kit because that there was a broken gun that that you got in there. I did I didn't get that. And then for some reason you had to pick up a toy axe and a toy shotgun. And I didn't even use it for anything. So I don't know what, that, what that's about. It could be that you have to use it for... Uh, for maybe if you go down, down the other path. Probably. You probably gotta do all that if you want the platinum. I didn't take a look at any of the trophies to see what's needed. Probably because I was going in blind, but we'll see. I, I do want to go through, through the other path, so I'll, I'll probably go through the other path and then check out what, what needs to be done. But I do recommend to play this one. This one's a good one. Probably be even more scary if it wasn't lit up everywhere. I got got three lamps around me plus the main light. Then I got my dog at the side here. Back in the day when you look credits roll out, it'd be like 
a minute of credits and that was it. If they made another old school Resident Evil, like with tank controls and puzzles and all that stuff, would, would you guys be excited for that? waiting for a remaster for that one. Shit's a lot of credits. Part of me just wants to try press options, but I already sat this long through. game <laughs> you see it's almost done we're getting to the to the uh, to all their emblems okay. well the next game I'm going to be playing is a legend of Ligaya on the PlayStation 1 it's supposed to come out like next year but I don't know for certain That one for show, man. Have a credits <laughs> Louisiana June 25th 2014 oh so somebody wrote about it I just realized if if they did wait if the main dude waited even even like two days he could have Chris would have rolled up with his teammate and finished finished that that old lady right 
credits for the credits. I only got 13 of those football dudes. So I missed, I missed a lot. Difficulty, Madhouse Weapon, Albert 01R. Cool. Item, the secret of defense. Okay. Additional free content, not a hero. I didn't really check out the additional content either. I don't know what to expect. Check out extra content. Probably end up getting this stuff. Well, I'm looking into it first, though, to make sure that's worth it. Then I'll try it. Ethan struggles over, but there's still one last mess to clean up, and the job falls to Chris Redfield, a veteran in the fight against bioterrorism, who's apparently working for Umbrella. Okay. So we hit some good madhouse. We'll hit you with all we got. Ooh, it sounds cool. I'm going to end it here, the stream for tonight. I'm going to go a little bit longer, but I got a stupid work thing to go in the morning before work. So I got to make sure I'm ready for that. Okay, but uh, thanks for watching, guys. I will be doing the extra content and maybe do do the game on the harder difficulty to get the other the other side of things. But I'm not sure which order I'll do that, though. I'll, I'll, I'll see. It, uh, Thanks for stopping by, and thanks for the follow, Vampire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Wesker will come back. Be like, Wesker's cloned himself or some ridiculous thing. Uh, see you guys. <laughs>